Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to show you how to make this Dollar Tree piece of wall decor that actually has a really nice size to it and the inspiration for this was actually the centerpiece of a previous DIY which I will link but if you're interested to see how I made this then just keep watching. So this is the inspiration for this project. Like I said I did this in a video a couple videos ago. I will link it but you're just going to need for this project three Dollar Tree canvases. The reason I'm showing you this is stay tuned towards the end. I have a little bonus quick DIY using this canvas print that I cut off. But you're basically just going to take off the canvases themselves and left with the two frames. And I'll know I'm showing you the two frames that I just cut the canvas off but it's technically three frames but I already did the center. So once you have your frames complete you're just going to take some of the Dollar Tree craft sticks I'm just measuring where I need to cut so I can fit the stick on a diagonal on each of the four corners of the box. And you're gonna go ahead and do that for all boxes. For me, like I said, the center box is already done, so I just have to do it for two other ones. But I just used the first one that I cut as a template and cut all the craft sticks. Once they're all cut, I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint and truffle, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give each a coat. I will totally admit, I forgot to paint the back so that's kind of bothering me but don't be like me remember to paint both sides while that paint is drying I'm going to take the frame and some Dollar Tree poster board you can get a four pack of this and I'm just going to outline with a pencil the poster board and cut both squares out Once the poster board is cut out, I just applied some hot glue to the back end of the frame that has the staples on it. I didn't bother taking off the staples because to be honest, I just, I couldn't even imagine doing that. It was hard enough to get the canvas off. So then I just hot glued that. Now, like I said, the inspiration for this was a previous DIY. So since I wanted this to be a little bit different from my entryway, I just took off where I had it said number one and I decided to put a monogram on there and I used the exclamation points just to add a little decorative touch to it for the middle square. Now moving on to the other squares, like I said, you would have to do this for all three, but since I'm just doing two for this DIY, you're just going to take the four craft sticks, put a little hot glue in the ends, and glue them into the diagonal, diagonally on all corners of the canvas box, if that makes sense. And then I wanted this to be a long piece going vertically, so I'm going to take some hot glue on the top and bottom of each of the boxes just to connect them, as you can see here. I hope that makes sense the way I'm describing it. Now there is quite a big gap and they did not really lay flush so I decided to just flip this piece over, take a craft stick, hot glue it on the first um, line that you see from the two boxes. I just took four craft sticks per um, separation that you see so you do this twice. You just do one horizontally, one on either side going vertical, and then one over top the horizontal one. Since this is going in my entryway, I thought it would be a fun way to display those really cute, small, like burlap signs that Dollar Tree has. And I've had this would-be garland forever. I got it on clearance. It's actually a Christmas ornament from Target. So I just went ahead and hot glued the small sign on the top and then the wood tassel on the bottom just to add a nice touch to it and you really can add anything there and now I'm just taking some Dollar Tree nautical rope cutting it so it is the length of the frame and I'm going to take three strands for the top section three for the bottom it adds a nice touch and it also covers up that like divide that it has. I'm sure you can use wood filler if you want and some paint, but I like mixing different textures. So I just went ahead and added the nautical rope. And then to hang the piece, I'm just gonna take another piece of nautical rope, add two knots on either side, and then I'm going to add some hot glue to each of the top corners and just press the knot of the nautical rope on either side to hang it. 
And this is how this piece turned out. I love that you're able to combine different Dollar Tree items to get the size piece that you want. And I was able to customize it to my home and my family using things from Dollar Tree or, or what I already had on hand. And it's a really affordable way to add a nice personalized touch to your decor. It only cost me about seven or eight dollars to make. I, like I said, I had some things already on hand and it was pretty easy and it's actually a sturdy piece, but you definitely need those craft sticks. That's what helps with the stability of the piece. And now, like I said, a really quick bonus DIY using that cow print canvas that was left over that you saw me removing before. So I really like this print and I'm always reusing, recycling things that I have. I feel like it's just an efficient way to craft. It's also more budget friendly and I just hate wasting things. So I'm just gonna cut the cow circle out. Then I am taking this piece that I got from the Hobby Lobby clearance a while back. It's actually broken. I dropped it and randomly liked it better broken. So it worked that it was a circle. I'm just taking some hot glue to apply the canvas. I would use Mod Podge, but I was completely out. So hot glue it is. And super simple, took like one minute to do using what I had and scraps that were left over. And I like the way that it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. And if you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.